Hello and welcome to a new game from CCC 11's round 2. Here are the standings after about 44 games. Lila is first with 26 out of 42, a couple of games behind Stockfish who's in second. And in third we have T60 who managed to win a very nice game against Fire and managed to climb up to third. Let's see today a game played between Big Lila and Fire, uh, an outrageous game with Amazing moves, enough for a whole week of computer chess, as you see. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We have e4, e5, and now f4, the king's gambit, accepted. And now we have knight f3, guarding the h4 square, not allowing this queen to, uh, to bother the white king. And here white would like to play d4 and then pick up this pawn with the bishop. So here black usually defends that pawn with g5, this is the main move. But in this one we have knight f6, the shallop defense. Black counterattacks this pawn here. Now we have e5 and knight h5, forcing the knight to the rim. But the knight stays pretty well here on, on h5 currently because it defends this pawn. And it's also not so easy to chase him away from there because uh, black can take here on passant with the pawn. And in some cases, this knight could be useful in, um, in some tactics here on the king side. The game now continued with bishop e2. And white has a nice battery against uh, this knight here on h5. However, if this knight moves away, then this would allow queen h4 check. And uh, that would be very, very painful for white. So the knight on h5 is uh, relatively safe for now. Here, fire played g5. We are still in the book. And now we have castles and uh, we reach the end of the book now. And in this position, d6 is the main move, but fire played here h6 to defend g5. And they both agree that black has a little advantage here of about uh, half a pawn. So uh, black is better. We have d4, normal development, and now d6 picking at white center, but also opening up this bishop. We have c4. And here taking this pawn is not good because of the knight takes this knight would be hanging here on, on h5. Instead we have a knight back to g7. And now knight c3, knight f5. And this knight is in a, a very nice spot now. Black is better. We have bishop d3. And now pawn takes, pawn takes and bishop g7. Lila continued here with knight d5. And now after castles, we arrived at the very important moment of the game where Lila played the star move of the game. Such a strong move that Stockfish didn't even consider that move. Here both Fire and Stockfish expected the more normal queen c2, attacking this knight twice and then after c6 forcing the knight to f6. The bishop can take it and after e takes on f6. Now the knight could jump to d4 to attack this queen. And then after knight takes and queen takes with check, white has to play king h1. And then fire intended to continue with c5 and then also develop with um, knight c6 here. This is what they expected. But instead of queen c2, Lila played another move, a quite shocking move that uh, not only that Stockfish didn't consider, but he also rejected it as being a blunder. Lila played here g3. A move that shocked me, which is not a surprise, but the fact that it shocked also Stockfish is, is already quite amazing. Why would anybody or anything play g3 here, not only to weaken the king side, but also give up another pawn and be two pawns down? Well, the move has some points here. For example, if black takes this pawn now, the knight g5 is quite strong here for white. When uh, black can't really take this knight because then he loses after queen h5. Uh, white hits this knight twice with rook and bishop. He wants to take it out with the rook and then use the bishop and the queen to make the black king. And the second threat is bishop takes on g5 hitting this queen. So black would be in trouble here. For example, pawn takes on h2 with check, king g2 and now knight h6 stops both the mate and uh, saves this knight here but after bishop takes on g5 black would be in trouble after queen d7 there's knight d7 check forcing the king to the h file and now this knight is in a pin so bishop f5 comes with great strength here and uh, a 
of the queen e8 a nice finishing touch would be bishop f6 here when if the bishop is taken then uh, queen h6 mates and otherwise uh, white still threatens to take the knight here with uh, with mate so as we can see f takes on g3 just right now doesn't work but fire has a strong move here to make it work he can play here c6 this is what stockfish also expected and now the knight is pretty much forced to f6 we have bishop takes pawn takes and now we have f takes on g3 where knight takes on g5 doesn't work anymore because of queen d4 check now and after king h1 the knight can be safely taken here on, on g5 as uh, queen h5 now would uh, would lose queen takes on d3 here trying to win a piece doesn't work because white would have queen takes on g5 with a perpetual but black can do better he can give this check first and after king takes give another check with the knight and uh, after that pick up this bishop and black would be up material a check on g5 could now be easily blocked with the knight going to uh, g6 so knight takes on g5 doesn't work here but what can then Lila do? Well, she played here now queen c2, hitting this knight. We have g takes on h2 with check, knight takes on h2, and now queen d4 check, rook f2. And in this position, Lila evaluated this as plus 0.2 only for white. So we have now knight h4, expected by Lila here. And here comes now blow number two, another amazing move played by Lila she took on g5 sacking a piece and after pawn takes on g5 she played now this very very strong move queen d2 and there are so many threats in this position first of all queen takes on g5 is threatening to uh, to give a mate not in two because this knight can jump back but in about five or six and the other threat is bishop h7 check winning this queen by discovery what can black do well Playing something like queen c5 or queen e5 doesn't work because if queen c5 then b4 and if queen e5 then rook e1 and uh, the queen won't be able to defend this pawn for long after which queen g5 is game over. If the queen comes here then king h1 is strong followed up by rook g1 and, and white wins. So trying to get out with the queen from uh, this discovery doesn't work. Instead fire played here knight g6. And this move also takes care of, uh, of both threats here. Now, it might be tempting to take this pawn and just give up this bishop, because uh, if queen takes here, then queen h6 and, and white mates. After something like queen g3 and rook g2, there's nothing black can do other than uh, give up the queen with queen e3 check. However, instead of taking the bishop, black can play here queen h4 and save himself so uh, queen takes on g5 is is not uh, good yet instead here after uh, knight g6 we have rook e1 and now knight d7 and rook e4 trying to force this queen away from uh, the d5 where it attacks this bishop and uh, allow the white queen to, to pick up this pawn on, on g5 but the queen went to d6 and now we have knight g4 defending this pawn which was attacked twice queen g3 check rook g2 and now queen back to d6 to hit this pawn again and we arrived at a new uh, important moment in the game here lila played another amazing move but at this point she's already evaluating this at plus two for uh, for white so completely winning here she played c5 giving up this pawn with check and all this in order to lure the king to this fifth rank if the queen takes now here then uh, after king h1 lila's plan is to to give this check with knight h6 and then take on g5 with tempo on the queen so for example if uh, h6 or something the knight a6 check king h7 and rook takes on g5 is pretty much winning here for for white after queen d6 we have a, a very easy mate in eight so pause the video if you'd like to work it out yourself i'm just kidding of course this is a very difficult mate in eight uh, i could uh, look at it for a decade and still not figure it out apparently here white wins with rook takes on g6 when the best resistance is given by pawn takes on g6 but now white has knight f5 
threatening queen h6 check and then mate on g7. So black has to take this knight, but now queen g5 is strong, threatening both queen g7 mate, but also rook h4 mate. And the best defense here is to take this pawn now with the rook, so that after rook h4 the rook can block on, on h6. But now here comes the bishop, bishop f5 check, forces the king away from the rook, and now Lila wins by taking here on h6 twice, and then mating on e6 with the bishop. So as we can see, queen takes on c5 is not, not that great, white has a lot of options. Nevertheless, this is the move that Lila uh, thought is, is best. Here fire instead played knight takes on c5, hitting both of these pieces. But now we have knight a6 check, and after king a7, rook h4, again threatening bishop g6 check and picking up the queen on d6, so the rook on, on h4 is immune. If the queen takes on d3, then white wins by queen takes on g5, not only hitting this knight, but much more importantly threatening knight f5 check and then knight e7 mate as uh, this knight on g6 is spinned. So in this position there would be nothing better for black to do than to uh, give up the queen here with queen d4 check. So instead of uh, taking on d3 with the queen, fire took with the, with the knight so that now after queen takes on g5 he can exchange the queens with this queen c5 check. We have queen takes, knight takes and now rook h5 saving this rook and again threatening knight f5 check and knight e7 mate. The rook is also attacking this, uh, this knight but of course the, the mating threat with knight f5 is the more important threat here. We have rook e8 guarding the e7 square but now comes knight f7 check and after king g8 knight d6 and uh, Lila is controlling all these squares and she's threatening now to take out this knight with check and of the king f8 made the black king with rook h8. We have now rook e1 check, king h2, and now since uh, rook g6 come with mate here, fire has nothing better than bishop f5 to defend this knight. This gives back one of the pieces now. We have rook takes on f5. Lila is still a piece down, but she has uh, plans of, uh, of taking this knight also, which cannot be defended because of uh, these squares being guarded by, uh, by white. We have rook e6 now counterattacking this one. Rook takes on g6 with check. And after all these fireworks, the material is completely equal now. They both have two rooks and a knight and three pawns each. But the position is uh, completely winning for white here. Exchanging now knights with uh, rook takes on c5 and rook takes on d6 would be only good enough for a draw. But Lila has here a much stronger move, rook g5 threatening mating one since all these squares are, are guarded by white pieces and pawn so what can fire do here the only move here is to take out this knight and allow this king to f7 we still have rook g8 king f7 and now lila wins back the second piece but with interest because now she's the exchange up this knight is still attacked so we have knight e6 and now rook f5 defending this pawn we have rook d2 check king g3 and now rook takes on b2, rook takes on a7, and now we have c5, rook f2, and Lila is trying to get in a rook exchange, because if they would exchange these rooks, even if she would lose this f6 pawn, she would be able to take the b7 pawn, and then her uh, a pawn would roll up the board, and this knight would have an impossible task of, of stopping that pawn, for example, rook takes, king takes, and then uh, king takes here, rook takes here, and it's very difficult to stop this pawn, the knight has no chances against that rook here. So instead of uh, exchanging the rooks, we have rook b6, avoiding it, and now we have rook a4, knight d4, king g2, rook d6, king f1, knight d6, king e2, Lila is trying to improve the king, rook a7, forcing rook back to d7, king e3, knight e6, and now after rook b2 attacking this pawn for a second time, we have knight back to d8. And here Rila played another strong move, rook b6 defending this pawn. And black is in complete Tsugtsvang again. These pieces are tied down to the b7 pawn. 
and uh, fire can only move the pawn or the king but if he moves the king then he's not guarding the e6 uh, square anymore for example king g6 and then after rook a5 white wins the c5 pawn as knight e6 is not possible anymore uh, the rook is uh, defending e6 and uh, if instead of uh, knight e6 black plays rook c7 then now lila's king could come closer and still pick up this pawn so instead of king g6 we have c4 but now after rook a4 this pawn is lost we have c3 rook h4 c2 and now rook c4 knight e6 and rook takes on c2 knight c7 king f2 knight d5 rook b3 king takes on f6 and even though lila lost this pawn her position is completely winning at some point she will be able to to win the b7 pawn rook e8 and at this point lila is uh, proceeding with uh, restricting the black king and uh, trying to uh, put pressure on b7 we have uh, rook f5 now knight h4 rook b5 and after rook f7 check and king d3 we have knight f5 check king d3 rook d7 check king c3 and uh, the king uh, tries to hide from all those checks knight d4 hitting both rooks rook g2 check king f6 and now rook h5 knight c6 rook e2 rook d1 rook b5 now hitting this knight again uh, forcing knight back and now we have rook b6 check king f7 rook h6 king g7 rook h4 rook f1 rook e4 again knight c6 <clears throat> and now after rook b2 finally fire gives up the spawn as it's very difficult to defend he could try here rook f7 but um, this knight doesn't have uh, moves he can't go to any of these squares if rook e7 then rook takes on b7 and uh, lila has ideas like uh, marching up with the king to, to b6 and then pushing uh, the a pawn up and uh, uh, try to uh, soften up this knight or uh, promote the pawn and there's not much black can do about it so uh, fire just completely abandons this pawn now we have rook takes and now rook f3 check king b2 knight e5 and black's position is uh, hopeless not even a, a knight fork would, uh, would help uh, fire here we have now lila's king marching up the board and helping that pawn to become a queen we have some checks now but eventually the king will hide on a6 and there are no more checks we have rook d1 and finally a new queen on the board rook d6 check king b7 rook d7 check king c8 and again there are no more checks we have a, a couple of uh, king moves still another check king d7 and now rook f6 rook e7 check king g6 and now finally queen g2 check and mate on g7 a very very strong game again by by lila uh, especially this move g3 is, is quite impressive here and her attack on on black's king i would like to thank to jimmy thomas for his 20 dollar contribution and also for guillermo lima de carvalho for his recurring three dollar contribution and of course thanks to everyone who donated rene adolf jimmy barry and all the other guys visit the store and check out two of my other videos on the right thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye